you have been playing, say, James Bond, rather than that. Wonderful. Oh, it's that, that's, that's a paradise. Because you know the subject is just to entertain the people you want to entertain. The people they are working eight hours, ten hours, and for two hours you make them a very happy, nice two hours. You know, there's no responsibility whatsoever. The lines are not from Shakespeare, not from Moliere, not from Goethe. And, you know, it's, it's an easygoing thing and it's very unjust that you have a much better life if you do films like that. <laughs> then you make, a, you make your Hannesen and your orchestrator. But I was very grateful, of course, to make such films because that means uh, in the shadow of Connery and so, I got a little attention. And so maybe some people of, of this 500 million or so, they saw the film, then go then to our films, which uh, we want to present, to tell stories, to hear stories, mm -hmm. to speak, to talk, to sit together, to, uh, to uh, learn something. And so step by step, uh, it came out that I want to do this, to deal with literature, with books, to bring them alive, to speak, to fake, to, uh, you know, to, to find out the truth, even the whole thing is a fiction. If a student says, I want to act like you, like Brenda, what do you say? For a moment I'm a little happy, and, uh, <laughs> for a least or so, and, uh, and, and then I will make him clear that this uh, Possible, but he can watch me and, uh, and, and take that as an example, only as an example, and uh, then he has to find out his own way. There are so many techniques described from Stanislavski to George Estrella and the uh, actor studios and, uh, and so forth. Uh, you know, a thousand and thousand possibilities you have. And the most important thing, in my opinion, we should know about all these acting styles, about the techniques and so, but you have to convince everybody individually that there is just one way for you, for him, for her. Artists, I, I, I like to speak about artists, you know? I mean, because uh, uh, an actor, especially nowadays, everybody can more or less be an actor. I mean, you know, you can learn it, you can uh, uh, um, practice your language and to, to be clear and to be loud and, uh, and uh, lower and so but there is something which is really a secret sometimes you cannot express it in other terms as to show it and this is a, a secret uh, you cannot really sneak into it's not necessary what many film people are doing especially in, in Europe they say oh we need to film further room and we want to have this money and they're all the time complaining if you want to realize a dream then you must be the producer and the director and you want them to make this film you can make a film about out I'll say about a little farmer a beautiful love story and even if it's a story from middle Europe if it's terrific if it's credible if uh, they, they like, they hate each other, they beat each other, they kiss each other, they are tricky to each other, then there will be an audience. Everybody tries then uh, to make in Europe American films, but the opposite should be. I mean, we have to stick to, or not, not to stick, to, yeah, not to stick, but you have to deal with our possibilities. Story. Of course I understand that uh, many people are very uh, much against uh, Hollywood, and if they have the chance to go there, they are there. <laughs> Immediately. I want to be alive. Yeah. Alive. Yeah. alive. And, and not to have to slow down, I mean. No, I mean, I can slow down, I can be quiet if you want to. <laughs> and like, and you, you force me now to speak about all this. And I'm very happy that I have the opportunity yeah. Yeah, all this and please make me intelligent and quiet and <laughs> well uh, <laughs> Irvin, Irvin Kirschner in an interview said yeah, he, yeah. Called, he called you an intellectual he, <laughs> he, said, yeah. he said that is rare amongst actors so would you call yourself an intellectual <laughs> oh no I wouldn't no I wouldn't